Hi everyone, Marlon7 here with a quick Don't Starve Together guide on how to convert your online world into an offline world and vice versa. Why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you created an online world only to find out that your internet connection is not that great. Or maybe you're going traveling and won't have access to the internet while there or in transit and would like to be able to continue your current world. Or maybe you have the opposite problem. Maybe you have a bad internet connection and have since upgraded to a better connection and would like to continue your offline world with friends. First, a disclaimer. While the risk of losing your save is very low, this does involve modifying your save game files. Make sure you back up your save game files as I take no responsibility for lost saves. With that out of the way, let's get started. There are a couple of things that need to be known when converting your game. First is that just like starting any offline world regularly, your online inventory such as character skins and item skins will not be available when converting your game to offline. Also, purchasable characters such as Wanda or Wartox are unfortunately counted as inventory items and are therefore unplayable when converting your world. So what happens if you are playing one of these characters and convert your game to an offline world? Well the game treats that character as a different session the same as if another player joined the world. It will do this regardless of which character you choose. As an example, say I start my game as an online game and started playing as WX. I gather a couple of resources and build a science machine for each day two of the game and decide to drop a stack of berries in front of the portal. I then convert my game to an offline world. When I go to log in on the offline world, it will first take me to the character select screen and even if I select WX as my character again, it will treat it as a new character session. The same as if I was a new player joining an existing running server. I won't have any items in my inventory from my online session and the map revealed by my online session won't be revealed for me. But I will see that it's currently day 2, I will see the science machine that was built and I will see the stack of 10 berries in front of the portal. If I then decide to convert the save back to an online save, the game will resume my online save of WX and any structures built by the offline WX will be visible to me. The main thing to remember is that if you want resources from your online character to be given to your offline character, you will need to either drop them on the ground or put them in a chest before converting the game. So to convert the save, first thing you want to do is log into Don't Starve Together and click on Host Game to bring up your list of saves. As you can see here, I have this test world, it's set to public and the server mode is online. Back on the server list, click on the folder icon of the save you want to convert. This will bring up a window with the save game files for this specific save. You can see mine is called cluster 4. You may have a different number, that is fine. Remember that these are the files you should have backed up earlier. Next, you want to open up the master folder, the save folder, click on shared index, then right click, open with, select notepad and click OK. Now you can see a list of your server settings for this save. You are looking for the setting called online mode. Here it is here. You want to change the word true to false. Click file and save, close the file, close the folder, and then close and restart, don't start together. We'll select play offline, post game, and as you can see, the game is now appearing in offline mode. If we open up the save, we can see it's set to local only, and the server mode is set to offline. And if we click resume, you'll see the standard offline mode warning message. To change the world back to an online world, it's just a case of going back and reverting your settings. Open the folder, select master, save, open shared index with notepad, click OK, change online mode back to true, then save and close the file and restart the game. We'll let it log back in, back to host game, and as you can see the offline mode message is gone, it's set back to public, and the server mode is set back to online. Hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.